Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to be making a Coanda intake for the hydroelectric system I'm working on for a customer. So this is a 6 Coanda panel intake designed for 6 litres per second and it's all made out of 2.5mm uh, 316 uh, grade stainless steel and uh, we'll make that in the workshop and then we'll go to site and fit it. Right, let's uh, get to work. Right, it's about 300 quid's worth of stainless steel here, so let's uh, hope I don't mess it up.
Okay, so we're uh, tacked up. Um, so I'll get everything cleaned up, check every my measurements, make sure everything fits, clean up all my holes, clean it, clean it, clean it some more, and then we'll weld the whole thing bit by bit so it doesn't all bow. Yeah. Nice. Big intake. This is going to be for about six liters a second, around that sort of uh, mark. So um, average around four or five liters a second, going up to maybe eight, but sort of six is where it's going to work best, most likely. It's a bit bigger than mine, and mine works quite well at five. So. Uh, just uh, tidied up the holes and things for this and mounting plate. Now, this would be uh, a lot faster if I just cut this out on the plasma with all the holes and everything because I just did small holes and I've re-drilled them and then countersunk them. And if I just did it on the plasma all in one piece, but if I did that, I'd end up with these, you know, wasted cutouts. They'd be used again, but I didn't want to waste the material because this is like 300 quid's worth of stainless steel as it is. So I thought I'll oh, do it in strips and weld it back together. And yeah, the reason for that is to save material. <laughs> Come see the geese. Hello geese. <laughs> They're nice, nice new grass. Lovely. Right, so I'm happy with uh, how everything is at the minute. Uh, it's all going to go together, so I'm going to do a few welds and then. Uh
Right, that is the welding done. Came out quite well. I'm actually really pleased with it. You know, I'm not the best welder in the world, but it's uh, definitely, definitely better than a lot of welds I've seen. Yeah, don't think you can really complain about that. Well, I wouldn't anyway. It's no Instagram world, but you know, that is pretty decent. So yeah, these are the uh, 3D printed Coanda screens. The wedges, I thought I've shown them before. I didn't design this. I've messed with it and changed it and adapted it, but um, one of my subscribers actually designed this. And um, it works very well. You know, it's um, a lot cheaper and a lot more readily available than the stainless steel wedge wire versions. And uh, from what I've seen of my one that I've used for a couple of years now it, it, it does work very well there's nothing wrong with it um, functionality is fine longevity um, seems okay so far I'm not sure about having one that was in direct sunlight you know because it would probably get um, eroded by the UV you know within a few years probably um, but yeah, in a woodland setting they seem to work quite well the only trouble is they are quite time consuming to assemble. But they do work. So that's all the parts in uh, in one side. So they sit offset so it creates a gap and a and a, a lip here because the they're at an angle, they're slightly tilted forwards. So as the water comes in, that lip slices a uh, 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 shears the water and drives it down through the wedge and it it has a tendency and wanted to cling to that surface and the coanda effect actually pulls it in um, so it actually I think it actually creates a negative pressure underneath it actually has a driving through force and these are one of these panels is good for at least a liter of water per second the last step well the next step is to squeeze the other side on and just put it in a vise somewhere lined up put a little bit of tension on it and then start lining up the uh, wires once they're somewhat sort of lined up a little bit more tension figure out which ones are not lined up Slowly fiddle with them until they start finding their place. Okay, there we go. That's it clamped together. So now it gets two end bars which hold the two sides on, even though they're not going to come off because it's really strong. I'll show you how it works quickly. All right, so uh, here's the uh, screen. So this is with it the right way up. Yeah, there you go, that's how they work and how they're constructed. So these will take at least a litre a second, and there's six of them on this intake, which is um, about the amount of flow that is average. You can push more than six litres a second through these, um, but they'll block up quick, do you know? Or one litre a second per screen. Um, after about one litre per second per screen, uh, they start to block up, and then after they block up, then start to um, 
uh, not function properly, and get reduced flow. But yeah, so this is good for uh, six liters a second. Is good for without blocking up, uh, you know, really quickly. Um, so yeah, so that's uh, at six liters a second. We'll be up at one and a half kilowatts for this system. So this is uh, sized perfectly for it. Right, then, I just made some uh, some little uh, patterns, some little templates. I'm going to bolt these down and these will allow me to get them all lined up nicely and then I shall weld on little nuts from the back <coughs> and then, uh, then it'll all sit right right so the templates worked everything lines up I've welded on some uh, nice big stainless steel uh, stubs on the back which thread in so that you can reach through this one easily and you can get to all of these to uh, put the nuts on, on the back it's not hard at all to do from that one and then the last one is in captive nuts you just screw that one after so get to welded on next So just attach them temporarily so we can get our acceleration plate on. Get that tacked on back. Right, so now those slide out of there. So now it's just uh, welding up, tidying up, getting it all uh, nice, looking professional, and then assembly. Alright, last one slots in. Tight fit, but it's not a bad thing. And then, you know, we put those in the captive bolts and uh, we can get to the back of that to tighten that on so I won't. Okay, I'm pleased with that. It all fits together nice. Yeah, it's the best I can do anyway. Um, so that's all I can do. So, flange fitting on the front and then it's uh, ready to go and be fitted. Right, so the next job I need to do is uh, make some brackets to anchor the pipe to some boulders. So I've just come up with this, it's pretty simple, it's just a bracket that will fix down to a uh, like a big boulder there and then the pipe will fix to this bit and we can pivot the pipe if it's uh, in funny directions. So uh, let's go and cut that out on the plasma table and see if it works. This is just a prototype I just come up with and cut out. So uh, this is the size of pipe I'm using on the hydro job I'm doing at the minute. And uh, it's very steep as you saw in the uh, previous videos. And there's some huge boulders and I'm gonna clamp the pipe to the boulders to stop the pipe going downhill. So uh, this these will be fixed down to these huge one ton boulders and then we can clamp up the pipe, do these up and this allows for uh, movement and you know depending on if the pipe's sitting in a different spot can slide this up or you know if, it, if the pipe's at an angle you know, it'll stop the pipe sliding up and down the hill 
So that's the plan with that. Works, so I'm gonna make another two of them. Right, so there's the uh, brackets, all painted, ready to go. I think they came out all right. I think they should work quite well. Bit of a prototype, but I'm, I'm confident they'll work. I'm gonna fix them down with, uh, with these style fixings into the boulders. Yeah, load it up and uh, we'll go off in the morning. So yeah, down in the uh, in the lower workshop. So the powerhouse for the um, hydroelectric installation still needs a door. So uh, first thing in the morning, I'm gonna make a door for that. Uh, just a barn door style door. And uh, we'll take that with us and get that fitted as well. Right, just knock this uh, door together, just needs uh, to dry, and then I'll sand it off, tidy it up, finish it off. It's just a basic shed door, it's for the uh, hydroelectric building. Yeah, just normal barn door style, nothing special. Right, it's evening time, van's loaded, I've got my trailer hooked up, got the door, got the length of pipe we need to finish that uh, bit that's too short. I've got the intake and the brackets and all the tools and everything. I'll uh, be setting off really early in the dark and uh, we've got quite a bit of work to do there so I'm going to cut this video here and uh, there'll be a part two of it which is uh, on-site fitting all the bits. Alright, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.